Hello and in today's session we are going to talk about the optical recording that is optical disc recording in the previous session we have talked about the optical film recording uh, today we will majorly focus on the compact disc that is CD so if you see this is this this diagram shows you how that structure of the CD is there so this these are the dimensions so if you see the diameter is 120 millimeter which is nothing but the 12 centimeter uh, in a portion or inner diameter whereas you can say the actual data is recorded is 116 millimeter you are um, uh, uh, you are having one small um, hollow portion there that is 15 millimeter and the diameter of that particular outer the, or we can say the recorded portion is from 116 millimeter to say 50 millimeter only so I can say the area of recording is 33 millimeter the thickness of the CD is 1.2 millimeter. So these are nothing but the dimensions of that compact disc or how that compact disc looks like. So moving further structure of the CD disc, you are having a label, you are having a photoresistive material, aluminum oxide reflective coating is there and inside that there will be the transparent polycarbonate plastic material. So this will be the first layer, this is another level, then this will be the third level and this will be the fourth level. CD burn, why burn? Whenever we are putting data on the CD, it is called as a burn. So CD writing is done with the help of powerful razor beam. The photoresistive material is burned in the form of pits and a digital data is recorded. Now next step is analog to digital conversion and then now laser beam modulated and pits are generated. So you can see there will be the recording of your data in the forms of flats and so the block diagram of disc recording shows you uh, your mic converts your sound waves into the electrical quantity given to the pre-amplifier then there will be the processing circuit it is given to the driver amplifier then to the power amplifier then recording unit and recording unit records that data on the original disc which is kept on the turntable which allows that disc to move in a circular manner so that that particular data is recorded so this turntable is connected with the motor so motor allows turntable to rotate with the uh, or uh, to move with the required uh, position this is the block diagram of disc reproduction whereas you can see here your disc is kept here then turntable this is the stylus that stylus gives the output to the cartridge. The cartridge gives that particular to the P amplifier, then to the equalizer, then driver amplifier, then to the power amplifier, and then to the power or you can say the loudspeaker. So you are having a stylus to read that particular data. The way you are recording that data exactly in the reverse order, your data will be uh, uh, read out at the receiver side or at the reproduction side so this is how actually disk recording and reproduction takes place now how that particular data is recorded if you see your data is recorded in terms of the flats and pits and you can see there is, if this is a first track and this is another track the difference between two track which is called as the uh, uh, you can say the uh, difference between two tracks is 1.6 pitch width so 1.6 micrometer and if you see the depth of that particular pit is 1 micrometer so let us see more specifications uh, but before that we'll understand motor turntable and then you are putting that data on that particular disc so this is called as a resist master disc so laser beam incident on the recording disc so this is not the final disc you are going to recover you are going to regenerate many discs out of this resist master disc okay so how that particular recording of the sound by laser beam on the cd takes place this is the clock which governs us because the data is a digital all blocks must be in a synchronization so clock governs sampling conditioning and error correction block uh, the input is given to the mic mic give is to the amp Amplifier, then sample set, then condition set, and then error correction is provided and given to the laser beam generation. So this laser beam output is as per the digital data provided to this particular inputs. So you will get the laser beam modulated. So you are having first disc which is nothing but the photoresist coating. You are putting that photoresist coating of 0.1 micrometer. Then the nickel plated master disc will be there where you are actually putting pits and flats or your data on that. Then there will be the mirror image of this nickel plated master disc which is the father disc. 
from the father disc several mother disc can be derived so you can see the mother disc again the exactly reverse or exactly opposite will be the sun disc several sun disc can be derived from the mother disc and the replica of the sun disc uh, is nothing but the final compact disc which is nothing but the same as the original one so this is the processing done to uh, make your compact disc in the final version so this they have they, they the same diagram uh, you are having the photo resist coating nickel plated master disc father mother son disc and final disc so preparation of the compact disc we'll see about uh, the specifications of the compact disc diameter is 12 cm thickness is 1.2 mm rotation is anti clockwise motion of pickup linear from center uh, towards the edges the velocity of scanning speed is 1.2 to 1.4 meters per second speed is 200 rotations per minute to 500 rotations per minute if you have observed that inner circle is very small and outer circle is very large so inner speed will be 500 rotations per minute and outer will be 200 rotations playing time is 60 minutes plus error correction time of 20 minutes track pitch that is the distance between two tracks we have seen that is 1.6 micrometer pickup so who picks up that particular data solid state laser using aluminium gallium arsenide that is semiconductor transducers are photodiodes frequency of sampling is 44.1 kilohertz quantization is 16 bit number of levels are 65536 per channels so we know how to calculate the number of levels if i know the quantization so 2 raised to 16 this comes here bit rate in megabits per second that is 4.3 to 1 this is n into fs so n is number of bits fs is the sampling frequency you get this one error correction bits is 35 for it. So these are the specifications of compact disc. Now we have seen that the recording is done with the laser beam. So laser beam reflected from the compact disc. So if this is the compact disc, this will be the laser beam generator. You are putting mirror. So whatever come out from here will strike on this particular compact disc and will get reflect back. So reflected rays or reflected information will be now whatever comes from this side comes to the compact disc but whatever comes from this side will not pass through this mirror okay partially uh, you can say coated mirror will be there then whatever comes out of this particular mirror will be collected with the lens and then it is given to the photodiode so photodiode converts that photo information or the information which is in the light form again to the audio signal so this will be the output signal now basic block diagram of the detection system you're putting your disc you are having disc here motor will allow to rotate that particular disc take okay. now you can have a crystal oscillator given to the control system servo system servo system is actually responsible for uh, the rotation of this motor and optical and mirror and a lens system okay so the reflected beam here the reflected beam that will be uh, given to the photodiode detector and then it is converted into the digital audio then you are giving it to the digital to analog converter and then get original signal back so this is all about the block diagram of the detection system now we'll see the comparison of compact and conventional disc so conventional discs here we are referring as uh, our uh, magnetic disc so channels 2 to 4 here in conventional to frequency response 20 to 20 kilohertz 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz here if you see up to 15 kilohertz dynamic range 90 db 55 db signal to noise ratio 90 db 60 db channel separation better than 80 db 30 db harmonic distortion 0.05 percent 0.2 percent wav and flutter absent here you will get wav and flutter 0.03 percent stylus is laser beam and here stylus is mechanical stylus so more wear and tear kind of things will be there so this is all about the compact disc we'll stop here and in the next session we'll talk about the DVDs. Thank you.